I'm glad you pulled out your pocket, Ronnie. We're going to be doing special triangles, and the triangle we're going to look at right now is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Remember, the degrees in a triangle have to add up to, not, to 180 degrees. Um, here's our right angle of 90, and then the other ones are 45, 45. When these angles are the same, that means that these legs on each side of the right angle are going to be the same. What kind of triangle is this when both legs are the same? Isosceles. Okay? So, when you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you know that these legs are the same because it's an isosceles triangle. So, for now, we're going to say if this is A, if the distance of this leg is A, then that leg has to be A as well. I'm going to prove to you in a minute that the hypotenuse, whenever you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, both legs are the same, A, A, and then your hypotenuse will always be A times square root of 2. So in a 45, 45, 45, 90 triangle, your hypotenuse will be whatever the leg is times square root of 2. I'm going to prove that to you down here in 20B, number 7 and 8. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. It's very important that they tell you that these angles are 45 degrees. If these angles are not labeled as 45 degrees, you cannot assume that it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and then you have to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the sides, okay? So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and use Pythagorean to solve for the sides. Well, if I know, first off, if this is 45 and 45 and the angles are the same, then I know that each leg is also congruent, okay? It's an isosceles triangle, so if this side is 8, then I automatically know that B is 8. So that's one of your answers. Okay, so before just solving the shortcut way, I'm going to use Pythagorean Theorem to solve for the hypotenuse, okay, which they're calling A. So Pythagorean Theorem says leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, okay. In this case, they're calling this the letter A, but we'll just call it hypotenuse. So we have 64 plus 64 equals hypotenuse squared. That would be 8. 128 hypotenuse squared. You take the square root of both sides. That radical cancels with that square and you have H. Now we have to um, simplify this radical. So that would be the same thing as square root of 64 times square root of 2. Square root of 64 is a perfect square. So square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 2 is the hypotenuse or they're labeling it A. Okay, So using the Pythagorean Theorem, I just proved that the hypotenuse is always going to be in a 45-45-90 triangle, the hypotenuse will always be the leg times square root of 2. And in this case, the leg is 8. Okay, now going on down to 20D, 1 and 2. They tell us it's a 45-45-90 triangle. So therefore, it's an isosceles triangle, so we know the legs are going to be the same. So if this leg is 7 times square root of 2, then we know that B is also 7 times square root of 2. Okay, by the triangles we showed you above, the hypotenuse will always be the leg times square root of 2. That's the leg. Now we have to times it by square root of 2. Numbers to numbers, radicals to radicals, that would be 7 times square root of 4. Square root of 4 is just 2, and 7 times 2 is 14. So we just calculated that the hypotenuse is 14. Okay, now we're going to do 20B, 13, and 14. You can see that it is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We are given the hypotenuse, and now we are trying to find the legs. Okay? Now let's go back to our general triangle where we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle and we know that this leg is A and this leg is A and the hypotenuse is A square root of 2. Well, how do we go from the hypotenuse back to a leg? Okay, How did we get from A square root of 2 back to a leg? We divided by square root of 2 because then our square root of 2's cancel 
and we're left with an A. So anytime you are given the hypotenuse and you need to go back to a leg, you just divide by square root of 2, so your square roots of 2's will cancel and you are left with an A, or left with the leg. Okay. So now let's look at this problem on 20B, 13 and 14. We are given the hypotenuse of 10. Well, we need to divide by square root of 2 in order to find the legs. Okay, so we've divided by square root of 2. Can we leave radicals in the denominator? No. So we have to get rid of the radical in the denominator. How do we do that? We multiply it by itself. We multiply that denominator by square root of 2. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. Now we're multiplying fractions. Just multiply across. 10 times square root of 2 is 10 square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2, square root of 4. Now we simplify radicals. We can't simplify square root of 2, so we leave that. Square root of 4 is 2. Now we look at our whole numbers and reduce fractions. We can reduce 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we leave the radical. Okay? So now we have found out that the leg is actually 5 square root of 2. If one leg is 5 square root of 2, it's an isosceles triangle. The other leg is 5 square root of 2. You can always go backwards to check your answer. Our legs are the same. How do we go from the leg to the hypotenuse? We multiply by square root of 2. So if I took this leg, 5 square root of 2, and I multiplied it by square root of 2 to get to the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuse in a 45-45-90 triangle is the leg times square root of 2, now we just do numbers to numbers and radicals to radicals. That would be 5 times square root of 4, and square root of 4 is 2, so that would be 5 times 2, which is 10, and we did get what the hypotenuse is. So that tells us that the answer we got for our leg is correct.